Hi, this is Al Congregate here. I just thought I'd spend another minute and take a little video of this mechanism that I'm working on for my current piece. I haven't done one of these for a while and uh, often people phone me and tell me they think they're kind of interesting. So I'm going to show you this one. This has the motor part put together in the front and then this is the bit that's going to be the top works and the storyline for this is the uh, two skeletons are in consulting with the physician. So let's start with the mechanism and how it works. So using a bone as a handle, typical single shaft layout with mechanism arms that go up and down to make the characters move. You can see over here with my little pointer which is a 3 8 piece of dowel that there's a little pawl here that keeps someone from turning it the wrong way. I, as I said before I use these as as uh, standards of my mechanisms because I want the cams to work in one direction only not in the other so where it's important I put a reverse pawl on. This one's unusual in that it happens to be on one of the pedestals that holds a lever arm as opposed to the case which I often do. Uh, the gear reduction again is a standard 8. It goes from a 10 tooth down to a 20, a 10 down in there to a 20 here, to a 10 on the other side, to a 20 tooth on the main shaft. So that's about an 8 to 1 reduction which is not a bad speed for the story to unfold when you crank at this speed. So let's start with what things do as we look across the mechanism. The first one we see is this lever arm here which actually is not to lift anything but to actually pull. By going up this location here at the end where the pin is moves laterally back and forth. So by linking it to something and in this case it's going to be linked to the lever on this arm. So the doctor's arm is going to wiggle back and forth like that just a little as if he's reading a report on his desk. So that arm is achieved by and here's the wiggling back and forth and his hand stops. This next mechanism, this big long arm over here, and I've made all these arms out of plywood this time because they're pretty long and I want them to stay strong. So this long arm is actually the one for the patient. The patient is the skeleton that's sitting in the chair and what happens is when she gets her diagnosis, it's hard to see but there's a little lever back in here, when she gets her unsatisfactory diagnosis she's going to fall forward and hit rest her head on the desk. When she's done her arms will actually be attached to the desk like that. So when they fall down, she'll she'll stay down. And of course, at the end of every sequence, sequence, you actually have to have her come back up again. So this cam goes through the whole rotation to make her come back up again. So you'll see this is where she falls forward, and then this is where she sits up again. This rather long arm that's protruding up, protruding up that just went down is the, actually the mechanism that goes up inside the head of the doctor. If you look at the dead head, he's got a long shaft that goes down through his body. And the head will do two things. It'll actually turn. He'll shake his head no. We'll get to that in a minute. But inside his head is a magnet that goes up and down. That's why he's got such a thick neck. And the magnet will hold his glasses on place. So when I push the head up, or push that bar up, I just drop his glasses. His glasses will stay in place because of the magnet. And then I can lower the magnet down and his hand will come up and pull his glasses off with the magnet that's in his hand. So this long mechanism here is actually the one that makes the magnet stay. Right now it's up inside his head. It goes down, it's going to drop, the arm's going to go up, take the glasses off and put it back on again. And that's how that one works. The next one over here is another mechanism just like this one in the front, this lever arm. And it's again, it's the, arm, it's the mechanism that moves the arm up and down that takes the glasses off. You can see it'll go up and down like that. Same thing, the arm will be attached to, uh, to a lever. Actually, this is, uh, I lied, this is the head twisting mechanism. So his head's on a lever up here in his head. So that'll actually turn his head, shake his head no when this one goes up and down. The next one is the arm mechanism. And so that'll make his hand go up and down to take the glasses off. As you can see, it'll be down, makes his arm goes up, take the glasses up, take them off, put them back on again, and then stay down. And then lastly, we have the last mech arm on the end which is actually attached to the patient's spouse. And when the doctor is reading his report, he will shake his head in agreement or at least an understanding of, of what the doctor is saying. So that's basically the whole mechanism. It's not overly complex. There's only seven pieces to it. The trick will be here is I've actually can get the magnet mechanism to work to take his glasses off and put his glasses on again. So I hope you like that. It was just a little tour and I'll try and throw it all together and we'll get a video made when it's all working. Thanks very much for now. Have a good have a good time. Take a look at the rest of the things on my site and let me know if you find them interesting.